fantastic movie, fantastic part. I had heard about it from Telluride, all the buzz, or where they screened it. I think it was Telluride. Yeah. Um, and I saw it in L.A. before I came here, and I was like, oh, Janet McTeer. And I, I've kind of, um, I lived in London and, and for a couple of years, and I've seen you and seen some of your movies, of which I'm not going to be able to recall now. But, um, And I was like, oh, which one's she going to be? Like, I had no idea what I was seeing. <laughs> <laughs> I completely believed you as... A man, and it's odd to look at you right now and think, mm. oh, yeah, that was you, and I'm looking at your face. Did you change anything other than wardrobe and posture and voice, obviously? Did you Is have... there anything else to change? No, but was there, <laughs> did you have any other than, was there prosthetics or makeup? Oh, yeah, or yeah, 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 There was? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, we, I think I had a false nose. I had things put in here, plumpers put in here, and okay. little eyebrows and false little bits on my thing, and loads and loads of skin stuff. It took, like, mm -hmm. two and a half hours every day. So did Glenn. Was it great fun to do that part? Oh my God, we had a like ball. such a stupid question, but it looks no, like... No, it really was. We were both really nervous um, because, you know, if you, when you watch this movie, you absolutely have to believe as an audience member that we are believable as men. And there's a kind of level of nervousness attached to that because you think, and I, you know, I'm thinking, wow, I'm being a guy, trying to look like a guy in an Irish accent in Ireland. So it was pretty, pretty nerve-wracking, but it was great fun. Mm -hmm. Did you get talked into, or did you, did you fight for this part, or did it just no, come no, to you? Glenn, that was the uh, no, no, Glenn of came it? to see. Um, I was doing a play on Broadway, and Glenn mm -hmm. came to see it, and uh, she came backstage afterwards, and we were with Annie, her daughter, and uh, we were just having a gossip, and then she said, "Oh, actually, I've got this script. Would you read it?" And I went, "Yeah, absolutely." So I read it and fell in love with it, and we met a week later and had a cup of tea or something, and um, that was it, and that was it. Had you known each other before? Or We'd met before, but we didn't. Know. We've become really, really good friends. She is completely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Not only is she great in the movie, but she's so... This is her project. She spearheaded it. And, you know, it's very easy if you're somebody as famous and as important and all that as, as she is to be very um, egocentric and narcissistic, and she really isn't. She mm -hmm. was absolutely a collaborative member of the team. Everybody was um, sort of... She listened to everybody. She loves actors. She loved what everybody else brought to the table to add to this dream, mm -hmm. which was her dream, really, this picture. And uh, she's great, great, really great. And for you, as a, are you most comfortable on stage, or do you like to do it all? I like to do it all. You do? Mix and match. Yeah, yeah. I'm a juggler. Yeah. yeah, I love it. That's great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you very much.